pioneers of pop. Together, they tell the story of Newcastle University's art school in the 50s and 60s. And at the centre of it all, Richard Hamilton. It was a two-year project. If I went for two years, I would then have an exhibition and then I would um, be a professional artist and everything in the garden would be lovely. But in fact, I stayed for 13 years. And during that time, he taught his students what being an artist was all about. Richard came to a show at ah. Wembley on the last tour that I did uh, with Rita. And it was great to, to see them. And, uh, I remember being quite startled at the end of the backstage. And he said, greets me, said, my greatest creation. And I thought, <laughs> this is very funny that, um, that uh, one of his uh, pop art students should become sort of pop artifact. Hamilton famously said, pop art is popular, transient, expendable, low cost, mass produced, young, witty, sexy, gimmicky, glamorous and big business. And he said that five years before Warhol made his Marilyn Monroe screen prints and his Campbell soup cans, that all happened in New York, but it was here in Newcastle where pop art really began. Newcastle played an incredibly important role through Hamilton and his links with America, with the independent group at the ICA in London, and indeed inside his own head. But pop art really did see a dawn here. There's no doubt about that. In, at a time when Newcastle too was turning into a pop culture city. It was Hamilton and his students that rescued from ruin the Hatton Star attraction, this unfinished work by the eccentric German architect of installation art. So Richard, what is it about this artwork that makes it a point of pilgrimage for art lovers? It's the only surviving Metzbahn in the world that was made by Kirchfitters. Um, he had other ones that he made in Germany which were destroyed during the Second World War. So this is the only surviving large-scale uh, installation work that's still left in, in, in the world. While the wall is literally part of the fabric of the gallery, many of the other 100 or so artworks on display have come from private collections and are rarely seen in public. You've never really been able to showcase the brilliant artwork that we're able to now because of the environment and the lighting and also the fabric of the building was really in a poor condition. So with this refurbishment we have environmental control to ensure that the artworks are well looked after so they don't deteriorate which is absolutely essential for a modern art gallery. We're really able to show this beautiful building off and bring major artworks here to Newcastle. This opening show signifies the beginning, not just of pop art, but of a new cultural era for the city. Sharana Saga, BBC Look North, Newcastle. This is tomorrow calling, wishing.